Okay, so um, this is part of the campaign, which is kind of primarily poster, but um, we, we can show how it works in a social environment um, by using a hashtag. Um, this will also bring like a bit of cohesion between your several um, platforms because you're running two Twitter accounts. So it'd be yeah. nice if we had uh, kind of something that linked them. Yeah. So um, it was all about our kind of objective was to kind of allow people to see the good that you were doing for the local neighbourhood because lots of people just come up against you and have arguments, but it'd be good to see the positive stories out of that and actually allowing people that you've helped to say something back and thank the area. So hence, thank you, Fitz Rogan. Um, so we've done a section of posters that cover off the three different areas, um, history, business and um, personal stories. Um, and it also we were thinking like it'd be good if, if local businesses, small independent businesses promoted that hashtag because then we can run like incentive based competitions, yeah. like, say for example for caffeine. Like, like Tom's had like, a delightful service in there and his black wine was the best around this area so I think it's yeah, important to allow allow the connection between people who live here and people who kind of just come here for work yeah so yeah. Uh, as you know a lot of people who work here probably don't know there's like 8,000 x amount of people who live here yeah. I mean, when we when we kind of told people this at work they, they were like really so where, where do they live so I think it's about doing a community thing yeah. here yeah. which kind of draws these smaller businesses to you and you, it kind of closes that gap yeah. of awkwardness mm -hmm. in the middle and I think that, that that's what happens here because you're not, you know, no one's arguing anymore. Everyone's kind of trying to get on together to get yeah. the right resolution. Yeah. Um, so that's why I think once people are proud of this, everyone can kind of use it. People who work here, small businesses, large businesses, and yourself. Yeah. So it becomes one kind of identity for this yeah. area. Yeah. And it like um, it also it's, it's completely feasible in the time you've got to actually implement this and yeah. like um, and have people doing it. So so we thought it's achievable. Yeah. For the for the minimal resource you and again got. just some lovely designs on the impact so I mean you can see this is quite white so, you know it, it, nice in its own right yeah. but then you've got something a bit more punchier so that brings us to the other four possible yeah. posters yeah. so we were, we were kind of um, given what you were already doing um, at the festival you were kind of um, using your space within the actual building to to host some images yeah. and use it as a gallery space and we thought okay let's Let's go one step further and, and maybe take some more arresting photography and portraiture of the people that you've helped. Mm -hmm. So then we can sit those messages along beside them and then you get part of the bigger story so yeah. you can actually find out the person who was involved with that. And I think it just... Um, Again, it's, that, it's the hidden reason. People know what you're doing, but they only know the, to them, the bad thing. Yeah. People don't always want to shout about the fact that they yeah. poverty yeah. hunting and stuff yeah, like no, that. Exactly. So using a different image, a substitute image, is perfectly more generic. Yeah. 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 As long as the content is truthful to what was happening, exactly. it tells the story. Yeah. And I think there's a real opportunity to create a real identity for this reader. I think mean, the design work that you've seen has done that. I think, you know, you've always been talking about the emphasis on like a yeah. creative community that around here. That's an asset that we should really, really be using. And I think one of the other things we talked about was um, when you go into your Twitter account, there's a description, you've got kind of all the, uh, the keywords there as to what you, you guys yeah. actually do. Yeah. But maybe we could replace that with the mission statement yeah. we talked to you guys before, um, so that if you're a punter seeing it for the first time, yeah. you get a real strong sense of what you do and what your purpose is, what your kind of sort of story and passion yeah. is. Because um, that also makes it a little bit easier for people to engage yeah. with you and yeah. with that. Um, other stuff we could do on Twitter, um, is with the neighbourhood association which we see and you see as a very different forum it's much more sensitive some of the issues that are on there mm -hmm. you know it's welfare housing community development planning, yeah. that sort of stuff um we sort of see the fitzrovia news account as kind of your awareness driving one so that's where you talk about the news that's where you sort of talk about local cultural uh, events and things that are happening here whereas the news association could potentially be more of a custom service account because you guys sort of do sort of said to us that you can't open uh, center 24 7 you know you can't have people sometimes people have turned up and you don't have enough sort of manpower there to actually deal with everybody yeah. maybe you use twitter as an alternative way to actually encourage some people who are on twitter to actually ask questions that way sometimes it feels like this is not a nice place to be because of the nature of the, the sort of problems that rise to the surface in those channels whereas for us it's brilliant so it's you know when you had 
a seagull dive bombing people yeah, on top yeah. of the street. You know, yeah. those kind of like odd quirky <laughs> stories. Yeah. Well, that's really interesting because maybe we do concentrate on the bad news rather than the good news. People come, they come through our door, you see, with bad news, yeah. and, that, and that's the same. So our, our, our view is quite jaundiced by that, and of course, you yeah. know, a number of recent events have been bad news as well. So it's been. But I suppose us, us reacting rather than yeah. being but I suppose controlled. that's when a newspaper and other yeah. avenues of execution yeah. comes to aid. Yeah. Whereas again, the, the yeah. Twitter is there to yeah. cement that nice yeah. relationship between yeah. everybody. Um, one thing that we would hope as well with this is that if um, trusts do go on, you said they usually do an internet search when they first have donated money to you, so they'll look at your Twitter stream, they'll look at your Facebook. But if people do start using this hashtag they'll see that in yeah. your Twitter streams and then if they search the yeah. hashtag they'll get this groundswell of what the effect you're having yeah. in the neighbourhood yeah. and yeah. all of these stories about it that's yeah. come from users yeah. which is really nice for the first yeah. impression of them to get from you is that everyone is clearly being affected by the work you're doing so you're clearly demonstrating that you're very competent and are having a good effect mm -hmm. on the area and things like yeah. that so it's, it's, it should be effective and hard hitting in terms of the trusts as well as the local area, it's not yeah. just about local people donating, yeah. obviously the trust to your main donors. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. I don't think that's the important part of the campaign is yeah. it lives lives on so many different levels that yeah. everybody can yeah. get on, because you're right, this is heavily towards us yeah. guys, but there are other elements yeah. like the street party where we will yeah. bring in different yeah. cultures and you can, and I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. You know, we do. There are going to be people who are uh, tech savvy that do live yeah. in these neighbourhoods, yeah. but we can't you know, we can't just shut out, let's just do hashtag happy, you can't really do that. Hence why the street party, the audio tour, but there's, there's quite a few mm. different little segments that can get everybody involved, and hence why we're not, we're not, hence why it's exclusive to everybody. In fact, it's a bit of an oxymoron, but, well, the, 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 you know. The thing is, it has to show it though, that's what I feel. Yeah. I'm not quite sure how much I feel it shows that it's exclusive to everyone, because I, I think it should have some strap line or something saying, if you live here or work here, if it's Rogan. Maybe that's something that needs to be said beforehand. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it's a, it's a yeah, lot yeah. of areas to Yeah, it's the, yeah, it's the not, education yeah, piece, yeah, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I, think, yeah. I think once, it's almost, it's one of those things, of what you said, it's like, we, we know that, but we don't want to say that on our post. That if, if yes, you know, it, yeah. it, that is, it's really, that's what we, we're trying to do. Yeah. We're trying to do it in a slightly way where people yeah. can it, 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 Exactly, yeah, yeah, but, but you, you're completely yeah. right, but I think, again, it's all work in progress, but yeah. I, you, you, yeah, you're right, that's what we need to say somewhere, but if we said that on there, it wouldn't work again, going right back to start. Rob got, you have said it was people don't really know they know what you do and yeah. they think you do it bad and you annoy a lot of people but when they see why you're doing it, it again it goes back to this execution of you know there's this this gentleman here who's been forced out of his home and you've come in or, or telling the pub to close down at 12. Yeah. a lot of people get annoyed with that but yeah, yeah. the reason behind it yeah. it's quite powerful